The Kaaba is now you talk about the Day of Judgment. This is just completely different. Well, the, the Kaaba is, a, is something that's going to pull up on the Day of Judgment. Everything will, will testify. Even your hand will testify. The Quran wasn't so testified. So you have intercessions. Huh? So you have intercessions in your... In, no, no, testify. Testify. Testify on your behalf to see or if it was... Or against you. Or yeah, against you. it's still intercession. Yeah. No, intercession, something intercession like against you, you in or um, for you. Yeah. It can go but both you're ways. You're talking about two different things. I'm talking about the real world that we live in. Yeah. And you're bringing up in Islam something that's a, a, another metaphysical realm that's going to exist in the day of judgment. It, it's, it's, well, again, it's not the same thing. You're, we're talking about real world. Yeah, you're yeah. talking about Mary, who is in heaven, is still alive. No, but that's another thing. That is another thing. Argument. It's the, the same the thing. Let's, let's talk. Let's not do no straw man. It's the same thing that we're talking about here. You know, in, in your opinion, both of them I, I are um, are from a spiritual place, and we're both um um one um, both of us are di directing our prayers to that. Either the Catholics to Mary or the Muslims to the Kaaba. It's the same thing. In you your don't opinion, have. It, I, I don't think it's the case. Then maybe use another analogy then, because it, it doesn't prove your point. My, my, my biggest look, my biggest. Point, do you believe it's Easter Sunday today? Amen. You believe it is, yeah. Amen. Fantastic. Let's discuss the resurrection of your man God. Okay. Would you like to? No, it I'm, is Easter I'm, Sunday. I mean, yeah, it is and that, Easter that was when It'll the help Christians all, according felt, to the, to the holiday, yeah, yes. They felt reinvigorated after yes. they came back from the dead. They felt compelled yes. to go and tell the world about it. You can yes. tell us about it today and whether or not we feel this resurrection can actually hold up to any sort of real scrutiny. Would you be happy to do that? Yes. Okay. So, talk to me about the resurrection. What happened? Well, God is a God of miracles, so right. anything is possible. I if, agree. If the miracle of the Big Bang, i.e. creation, the miracle of um, the prophets and the miracle of Jesus Christ can happen. Anything can, um, that Jesus Christ performed can happen. Okay. And uh, any miracle can happen. God is the God of the living. Jesus Christ himself said, um, in three days, you would, they would destroy this temple and I'll raise it back, uh, 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 raise it back to life. He's talking about his, his flesh. I mean, his, his body, himself. They will cause him to die and he will resurrect. And the evidence around it is quite overwhelmingly well, satisfactory of, of, according to the believers. The atheists can say they give you the, um, the illusion theory or like the substitution theory or like the, the empty tube theory. Um, um, yeah, yeah. theory. All but viable yet, theories, all very yeah, viable. But yeah. all evidence against, uh, all evidence presented in the Bible proves that the resurrection actually started a great movement for Christianity. So you believe Jesus is the new temple, yeah? Jesus is we well. He is the temple, right? You just that's the. I mean, that's what I got from the verse you just quoted. No, that's not what I said. So he's not. Well, he said he's going to destroy well, this temple, and then he's going to bring it back in three days. So yeah, he's temple. Like he's so he is he, the temple. Okay, if we want to say in the, uh, the point of uh, our direction of prayer, yes, he is the no, temple. No, no, I'm not saying direction. But he's not also made us the temple so of the living the God. He is the the, he's the heavenly the temple, temple. So we don't need yes. sacrifice. Yes, we don't need sacrifice. We need no. We, we need, need sacrifice. sacrifice right? We need sacrifice in a different way. I think you feel like I'm trying to pull the cup. I'm not trying. To I know, I understand. Okay, okay, but I'm trying to give you my theology as a whole. Okay. If once you say that we don't need sacrifice anymore, that is wrong. We don't sacrifice, or we don't need to sacrifice life and death anymore. Like lambs, like your lambs. Can we you, don't need to sacrifice those you don't anymore. Need that, yeah? It's sacrificing your own um, um, fleshly desire, carrying your cross, and loving your enemies uh, as much as you um, you love God. That is a point of sacrifice. Okay, that's interesting. So you you then don't believe that there's going to be a third temple and you're going to reinstitute sacrifice and you don't believe what the evangelical Christians believe in the in other words. No, there is no like, third like, like, temple. There's no third temple, right? Okay, no. that's interesting. I just want to get your opinion on that. Okay, I'm fantastic. Saying. Okay, so okay. you Sorry, believe, man. yeah, you, you you believe Jesus is the temple. Yeah, Jesus. No okay, if you want to say our point of direction of prayer, yeah, no, no, Jesus no, no. Is the okay. temple. Yeah, okay, fine, no problem, no problem. Okay, I understand that. That's fine. Now, my my next point is the following: Jesus comes back from the dead after three days. Yeah. You Presented, there's all these sort of counter theories to that. No problem. Yes, that doesn't stand ground. No. So, so you believe yours are the stronger arguments, yeah? Yes. Okay. So you have four gospels, right? Yes. Four gospels. All of them speak of the resurrection, correct? I don't think all of them speak of the resurrection. I think probably like three out of four of them speak of the resurrection. Which one doesn't? I'm not. I'm not fully sure yet. Why are you I'm, I'm, three out of four? Why are you saying that? Four? Because I know majority of them of the four gospels speak about the resurrection. Okay. But one of them, I'm not fully sure if he, if it speaks about the resurrection. But he speaks about the crucifixion, but not the resurrection. That's not, okay. That to me sounds very problematic. It's not problematic. We don't. We don't have to I, memorize. I'll tell, you, okay, no I'll tell you why I think it is. Why? So the gospels and. Stop me if you disagree. 
the Gospels are eyewitness accounts, mm -hmm. okay, from Jesus' disciples, two of them anyway, right? Yeah. So Peter wrote Mark, right? Or, or Mark wrote from Peter. Why we can agree yeah. yeah? Okay. Matthew is obviously a disciple. So, so, so essentially, three of them are eyewitnesses. Yeah, so John, and then except for Luke, right? Luke's obviously because he's the a Gentile, student, yeah. He's a student of uh, Paul, right? Yeah. Okay, fine, no problem. Now, the, what, the, the gospel you're talking about, right, is the gospel of Mark. That doesn't speak about... It the... doesn't speak of the resurrection. Okay, so I was right. You, of course you were. You, of course you were. Now, for me, that's problematic because now we have one of these eyewitnesses who have forgotten to mention an event so pinnacle that it hinges your very salvation. No, it doesn't. What makes salvation? you think? What makes you think that? Resurrection? No, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. That's a flawed. That's a flawed argument. Paul Simply why? It. No, it's no. What please, did you say? It? You asked me the question. Let okay, me. Let ahead, me. Go ahead, go ahead. It doesn't hinge uh, the 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 conversation around my salvation. Why? Simply because the church the, did not rely on the text. The church was already there before the um before the gospels were. So we holistically, especially with Jesus, those who Jesus presented himself to, we already knew um um the message of the church that Jesus died and resurrected from or even the other disciples you know, that didn't write anything. We already knew the perspective because they were teaching in the synagogue okay. before the book was written, and the book uh, the books were written, the gospels were written in accordance to an eyewitness view. Mark is to present Jesus Christ as in, in his human nature. So there's going to be some parts that... Well, it's not Mark, though, is it? It's Peter. Yes, it's it Peter. doesn't matter. So Why is Peter doing that? Then? He doesn't have to, because the other one, we have four accounts in the other ones. He doesn't have to. But he's the it's first an account, writer. It's an account of the... Um, it's an account of the perspective of the disciple. So he doesn't have to write it. Yeah, you can't determine what someone in um, Julia Caesar You're wrote. Right. You know, You're right. I he can't actually, tell what anyone yeah. to write about anything. So he wrote That's it in fine. his perspective. Yeah. He doesn't have to include the resurrection that is already given to us uh, in our tradition and in the other Gospels. The reason why, I understand your argument. The argument, okay, fine, that it does track a bit. But the problem is this. Mark, his Gospel, is the first Gospel. Yeah. Before Mark, there was no Gospel prior to that. Oh, right? His yeah. is the first synoptic gospel. You don't disagree with that, right? Well, I know some Christians say Matthew. I know some Christians say Matthew. No, they put it in the order of Matthew and okay. I understand. I know, I know that's what the church does, but academics put Mark first, okay? You do you do concede that, right? Paper boy. Happy Easter, man. God bless you, man. God bless you. You want to get in this paper boy or? No, um, I'm finishing what you man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so, um, so you've got obviously Mark, first gospel writer. Yeah. Okay. And actually, it's being dictated by Peter. So Peter's dictated to Mark because Peter can't write Greek, yeah. right? So he's an easy interpreter, all right? I just find it strange. I understand what you're saying, but we have this gospel from the rock, Peter the rock, the one who Jesus left in charge of the church. Yes. He forgets to mention the virgin birth. That's the first thing, very strange. He forgets to what mention is, the virgin birth. Do you know the perspective of what, how Mark was written? Say again? Do you know the perspective of how Mark was written? How he was written? Like, what's the perspective of Mark? Well, Peter is, is relaying the information to Mark. Yeah, he's what, what, to yeah okay. what's the perspective of Peter while he's what, giving? I believe his he's imprisoned. Is he imprisoned? But what is the perspective of the whole Gospel of Mark? What's the perspective? Yes. It's, it's the perspective of supposedly a, an eyewitness account. Supposedly. That's the perspective of the person. Yeah. I'm talking about the perspective of the text. It's to show uh, is it Jesus, to the is, or? Jesus is human nature. Okay, fine. No so problem. it doesn't have to talk about every single detail. It can just talk about one. It can focus on one subject at a time. I mean, virgin birth is a pretty big topic to, to and to, the to other gloss over. and it's, it's been a part of the tradition before the writings. Okay, no problem. But someone like Peter, who's literally the, the one left in charge of the church, yeah, to lead to omit details like that, I believe to be very, especially the group, especially the resurrection. You cannot dictate. You cannot dictate what someone writes. No, I, I, you're no right. matter what it is, I can't dictate anything at all. But when I see someone who's left in charge of the church, who knows for a fact, supposedly knows for a fact, that this man is God in human form, and he needs to convince everyone around him that this man has come for your salvation, to leave out situations like the incarnation and how he came to this world, the virgin birth, and the resurrection of which your salvation hinges upon, according to Paul, I find that very, very problematic. It isn't for me. It's especially, my salvation. Especially, one second, it isn't. One, one more thing. Especially since we know, according to the Gospel of John, Peter was at the tomb and he saw the empty tomb. Yeah, and Peter also and he spoke to, to Peter this also. To Mark. 
Peter also spoke to um, Paul and verifies the gospel that Paul was, Paul was writing. Peter also but spoke to the Paul other disciples. Paul give the story of the resurrection. Paul gives the story. I mean, Paul um, writes about the story of the he resurrection. Just, no, he just talks many about, times. He just said many he came times. Out the dead. But let's look at Mark. He doesn't talk about let's the look two. at let's look at Mark. He doesn't talk about the women, let's look at Mark one. The angel, he has risen. Let us look at Mark Nothing. one. Let's look at Mark one. Yes, please. It says, "This is the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, mm. the Son of God." Wow. So it's Son already verifying. That Jesus is God by calling him the Son of God, no the problem, Messiah. No problem. So but he already you, starts but wait, off like that. How anyways, come, how come he doesn't know about the virgin birth? Why doesn't Why doesn't he get it from the other perspective? I don't know what what another straw man. I don't know what what straw man you're trying to gain out of here. Straw man. It is a straw I just man. Find it strange. But the person makes uh, that Mark, the one in charge of the church. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Doesn't tell everyone that his God was born of a virgin. It is a straw man because the perspective of the writer is already written. If you're attacking something else. Your straw man in his argument. You want something verbatim of what he said. You don't detain what he writes. I mean, I that's what verbatim. you're looking for. You're saying verbatim. why doesn't Peter, the, the um, beginning of the church, why isn't he writing about the, the virgin birth? He wrote Forget about the, the perspective birth. of so Jesus Christ being the, human being. Now you want to park it? No, no. I, don't, I, I just, I just believe Jesus. Easter Sunday. Let's get to the resurrection bit. So I also did mention the omission of Peter not mentioning the resurrected Christ and how that is very problematic especially since we know does Peter in John, in, Pete that in John Peter has a resurrection experience he goes to the tomb he sees an empty tomb Mary Magdalene's there supposedly John's there as well and they they're are you running sure there, they're running back are you sure Am I sure, sure what? are you sure Peter doesn't talk I mean Mark doesn't talk about um, Jesus's um, um, death is what, sorry? death and resurrection yeah. Are you sure? No, I don't believe he does. Okay, we're gonna go into um what's the, what's Mark the, Mark what's 15, oh, okay. verse 33 mm -hmm. or 34. Then the um, then the then at three the um three o'clock Jesus called with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, on my Sabbathan, which which means my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Yes. So he spoke about what happened in the in the in the That's crucifixion, crucifixion yeah. and in the resurrection, which is right there in yeah, verse yeah. chapter 16. Mark writes about the resurrection of Christ. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. I, I cannot say? go through it. I cannot... What is that? Now, what does this say? What does this say? Listen, listen. What does that say? For, I'm, I'm already looking to him. Now, oh, okay, so you're not worried about that, yeah? I don't have to worry about that. Oh, you don't have to. Okay. Still, tell me, about, tell me with these two little tiny Let paragraphs me... of Jesus' resurrection, what do they say mm -hmm. about it? What are they telling us? Mm -hmm. The women go to an empty tomb. So it talks about. Wait, he just verified wait, the wait, resurrection. Wait, the women wait. went to an empty tomb. No problem. What happened afterwards? The, the angel empty. says he has risen, and then what happened? So that's the that's literally all the resurrection. What, what happened after? That's all there is to the resurrection. What about the holes in you're the You're looking hands? for you're, you're you're looking for what something about the holes else. In the hand? You are looking for something else, and I'm and I, I am I'm not looking for something else. You're looking for something else. I am not stretching into where's that. Pete, where's, where's Mark, Peter? Mark, you did you not Peter? start? Where's did you not? Peter? Let's look at the claims that you made. You started off by saying Mark never spoke about the death and the resurrection. I have proven no, 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 the death no, no, no. to you, and I've proven a part of the that. resurrection to you. I said that is your argument done. I said beyond beyond the claims we know nothing. We we've already I've already proven it. Let's look at another point. Look at no, another point. Well, what about the whole already, hands? The, and where's Peter? Where's that, Peter? It does, bro, bro. I've already proven what Mark says to you. Well, according Peter? to your your adding arguments does not help you. Adding I'm not arguments. Adding anything. Your adding, John what was your, what was your, what was your first John argument? Said Peter's what was your first argument? Where is he? It's the women, not What not was Peter. your first argument? You used to ask me that why doesn't G um um Peter free Mark talk about the death? And the resurrection. Yeah. I have given you a passage no, for the. No, no, no. I, I have given that. you a passage. I didn't say that. Mark chap, um, chapter 15. I didn't say verse that. Verse 30, 34. Where's the risen Christ proves, and Mark? Okay, fine, fine. Proves. No problem. Where's the risen Christ and Mark? It, it, it shows the eyewitness of, of Wait, the risen Mark. Where's the risen Christ and Mark? It, it shows the eyewitness. Where's the, the risen the women, Christ and Mark? The women who went to the empty tomb. Someone could have moved the, the body. You can't decompose. Wait, 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 I know. Listen, one second. No, no, I got to say, he, I, he, he, I know. He wants, they down. like to do this in a corner. They, you know? they like oh, to do this in a corner. It's, a, it's an invalid argument. It's, well, not really. That's what I'm not saying. Really, not really. We, there's, there's, Where primary, is the risen Christ? His primary claim, his primary questions, I have just proven them by two verses, and now he wants to go into another question. You're jumping into the Where's another the question. Christ? I have proven the resurrection Where's to you. Where's the risen Christ? I have proven the resurrection to you. If you, wanna, you? <laughs> if you don't want to take a halas, it's, it's calm. Where's the risen Christ? In I have proven um, the resurrection to you. He, he can't he, answer. His initial question were, or can you prove the death of Christ in Mark and the resurrection of Christ? I proved it. I showed in Mark 
15, verse, um, verse 34, where Jesus said, Ola Eloi, Amai Sabachthani, that's breathing the, the death and the resurrection, the eyewitness that went and saw the empty tomb. And now he wants to jump into where's the risen Christ. Your jumping question. Stop jumping question. Stop jumping question. He's listening. He's listening. He's listening. He doesn't want to continue. You're the one that's jumping question. You're going to another question. Are you going to ask one question? Where's the risen Christ? Uh, the eyewitnesses that didn't, that's what the empty tomb. There's no written Christ in Gospel of Mark. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They saw the empty tomb. They saw an empty tomb. And then an angel, and the angel, and the angel that said to them that he is risen. I know about John. They don't care about the, they, they, believe me, they don't care about the Christology. It says if everything that Jesus did was written down, I suppose there wouldn't be enough room in the whole world. So just because one person don't take the account of everything that Jesus did, don't, yeah, don't um, verse Mark 16 from verse 6, where the angel says, Don't be alarmed, you are looking for Jesus Christ uh, the, of Nazareth, who was crucified. He isn't here, he is risen from the dead. Amen. That's the risen Christ. He sees Mary Magdalene. He sees that is the risen Christ. That's Mark. Exactly. He's up. Let me show you that. The risen Christ. The risen Christ. The angel said in Mark 16, verse 6, he says, don't be alarmed. You are looking for the um, for Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no problem. who was crucified. Yep. He isn't here. Mm. He is risen. Mm. Um, he, he is risen from the dead. Yep. So, so that's already proven. Where's the risen Christ? It doesn't. It doesn't have to show it. The perspective the proves it. The perspective proves it. Where's Peter's house? Your your, your argument is your argument is promise? flawed. Your argument is flawed. Choose another argument. Choose another argument. <laughs> Do something how, else. How can Peter? One second. Hi, how are if you? you believe that God bless Peter, you, man. God bless you. If you believe that Peter was dictating to Mark what okay. happened, right? I find it very strange that the rock, the one he left in charge of the church, would omit something as important as his resurrection experience at the tomb. Yeah. The empty tomb, going back to his house and seeing Jesus appear there with holes in his eyes. The, the, whole, the truth, the the truth does not change for you. Just because you wanted to say what, have you read Peter's yeah, but just because you wanted to say what it says, does not mean it has to. The truth does not change for you; you change for the truth. Well, read the epistle of Peter. The authorship of Peter is this is an argument from silence. The authorship of Peter is disputed. Yeah, but this is an argument from silence, so it doesn't necessarily prove anything. From silence, of course. I think I think it's a very good question. Well, we can all ask questions. It's like if I throw back with the Quran. No, 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 don't listen. No, no, no. We're gonna go into that. No, because we like parallels. No, no, we like. We like to contrast, you know. It's Easter Sunday. It doesn't matter. You don't matter. Sunday, because yeah, we raise every no, day. No, we no, raise no, it off. Because you know. I bring up the Quran, we we have to be. We have to be fair. We have to be fair. Yeah, we did answer it. We did answer it. It's Easter Sunday, but we did answer it. Easter Sunday, nothing about it. But we did answer it. No, no, but he said something spectacular. Says nothing about it. He did. He did. Yeah, oh, did you not read what I said before? I, did you not read what I said before? I am going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Don't don't argue out of ignorance. Don't argue out of ignorance. Because it embarrasses you when you argue out of ignorance. You know. I am going to show you. I am going to show you. The death. Mark 15. Verse, from verse 33, yeah, the death of Jesus Christ, where Jesus Christ said, Eloi, Eloi, Laman Sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Peter, that story, said it. The resurrection is there. It says, when the angel says he is risen, he is not here. This Amen. Alas, 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 alas. We're done. Right. We're done. So You're arguing out of ig ignorance. He's died for everyone's sins, and he's the Son of God. He defeated death. He trampled over death. Yeah, but this is why. why this is why I bring up the Quran because I want to see that you're consistent, consistent in your logic. Because, for example, when we go to the Quran, it, for example, it doesn't speak about Muhammad being spoken to in the cave. You would have thought if this is a revelation from God, he would have depicted. He would have in put detail. it in. Where is the revelation? No, no. It's a different argument. Where is the no, revelation? No, how is it a different argument? Because it's Allah saying it. Because you the know Almighty God. As well. The Almighty Allah. And you know that. The Almighty Allah says it. Council of God. 
the so Almighty see, Allah says, we are, we are looking yeah, at the first gospel yeah, by Peter. Yeah, so you, but here's so the you problem. say, oh, we can yeah, isolate no, but this is a one book no, no, out of the Bible. But this is the difference. This is we know the hadiths come uh, documented centuries later. So now you're getting 200 so years. No, no, but and we can with go into not eyewitness. Yeah, I know. We're going to digress into that. That would be true. But then I have to respond. Then I have to respond. You can respond in any way. But then we're going to digress away from Easter Sunday, the resurrection. It doesn't matter. We're done. Because that's why we're here. All day is the day of Easter special. No, no, all day is no, the day of the Lord. It's the Easter special. All <laughs> day is the Easter. People are here to hear arguments get unpacked, unpa unpa right. unpa yeah. and, and that's what we do with the resurrection. Yeah, and that's why we we'll also relate. Right. To because when someone dictates logic, that logic has to be consistent. So it's no point deconstructing someone else's book. But it has when to your be an own exact book parallel. has, it's not an of exact course, parallel. Saying, yeah, it is an exact parallel. If someone parallel. has a direct experience of something, that person should have documented it. Within the Quran, the, the Quran Allah is, the is word all of knowing, Allah. and he's Allah all knowing. Allah is the one who's dictating. So. We have to go, for example, to the hadith. Which yeah. To get the first revelation. In Bukhari, the hadith, in Bukhari, to understand. Yeah. I'm Muslim, sir. Because the Quran doesn't even in itself say that Gibriel was the one who revealed the Quran yeah. to Muhammad. So for other people on our side it of does, things. It does, by the way. It does say that. We can, it, does we have, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It, it has it does to, does what you 10, have to do. years. Show me. It does. It does. Our, I love we won't go into it now, but I'll ask for one verse that clearly no, says. No, no, no. Ah, you gotta show me. You gotta show me, Obi. You gotta be fair. You gotta be fair, Obi. I can. I don't anyone, anyone, like a anyone listening. Listening. Go online and have a quick Google search. And look if there is a direct verse. No, but no, it's not. It doesn't say that. Gibril was the one. We have to teach you Islam to debunk it, and it doesn't talk about the whole experience in the cave. Mm -hmm. So in, your, in the that. same sense. That I agree with. Right. But that's so why I'm, we have hadith. So, that's why we have hadith. <laughs> but then we have and it's in the Quran for us to follow yeah, hadith. So we have other we gospels have other no, that tells no, us. Saying, oh, exactly. We, we, yeah, we're going back to yeah, your yeah, argument yeah, no problem, that no problem. Peter no problem. Is, has no a first-hand experience yes, of something yes, yes. and you find it odd yes, that he has not dictated or relayed about that experience. In the same way we have the Quran which is the first-hand witness of Allah. And it's strange that we would have to go to a problematic hadith, because mm -hmm. there are lots of problems with your hadith, rather not, than the word the of... the Qur'an tells us to. No, it doesn't. It does tell no, us it to. No, it doesn't. It says, no... obey Allah and obey the messenger. How is that, Allah, how is that referring to the hadith? Because the hadith... Well, who, who's the, the messenger? Allah. No, no, no. So who is the messenger? Jibril is the messenger. How you mean Shia, bro? You see? But there's this speech within there. But even... There's no Christians. That, no, no, no. Here's, here's, here's the difference. Even in the Quran, here's the difference. There is no Christians that are dis dispute the four gospels amongst themselves, whether they're canon. There are disputes within the Islamic community, whether even which hadith to trust. So that's why I'm saying they're two different standards. You can't say don't go to the hadith. If you said to me, we can trust he, 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 knows he, knows he already knows this. He already yeah, knows this. Yes, okay. that's why I said there's problems let's, in the let's hadith. Go back. So let's, let's but go there's back. a criteria, let's scientific go. criteria. Oh, really? Scientific. No, 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 really? Don't, 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 scientific. He doesn't no, want to talk about resurrection now, man. No, please. All I'm saying, we're going back to the point. Go that, go that, that is not a strong argument to say, well, he. Yeah, but it's not. I'm saying your argument is weak. Okay, no problem. Whereby if allow me to strengthen it. Okay. Allow, allow me to weird. strengthen it. You're just saying it's weird. That's fine. He can say it yeah, whatever he wants. That's his, it's that's not, it doesn't <laughs> prove anything. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It's, it's his assumption. Here's what I'm saying to you. You have agreed with me, and he. So it, I don't know if he did. He's, he's mm. in between. But I believe you agree with me that Mark is the first gospel. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Okay. And we know. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't know your position too well, but if I ask like someone like Bob the Builder, he'll say that it was something Peter relayed to Mark. Do you agree yeah. with that? Yeah, let's go. Okay, with no that. problem. He's the interpreter right. of Peter. Okay. My problem is this: your earliest gospel, right? right? Your first witness right. to the res witness right. to the resurrection right. omits the story right. of Peter being at the tomb right. to find an and empty the tomb, the and then yeah. runs back to his home and then sees the risen Jesus, right. showing the holes in his hands to, to, to doubting Thomas. Where is that in Mark? Did he forget it's to mention John. that to Mark? It's in John. John is also an eyewitness. But it's fine. John didn't exist it's when an, Mark it, was writing. It doesn't this matter. This is information John that wrote Mark about needs it. to get out to the world. It's in John. Unless, it of course, it didn't happen. But, but Mark, let me, let me, let me now, we, let me give you the evidence. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? He yeah? doesn't understand what you're saying. Let me. Huh? He doesn't. Yes, okay, okay. Now let me give you the evidence. I have given you two. Why did it take so long? I have given you. What, he what he's trying to say. Why did it take so long? I have given you. Explain what was seen at the resurrection. That's what he's trying to say. Remember, John comes one ten. Doesn't that? It can, John, it's according to how they want to. Are you done? No, well, that's the majority. One ten. No. Everything was before 70 A.D. The scholarship has to place all the gospels Believing after the destruction of the temple right yeah so as evangelical christians won't really believe that but as a circular secular scholar or an atheist scholar you would have to place all the gospels after 70 ad because if you place it earlier or to the time of christ it means that jesus actually um, performed a miracle and predicted the destruction of the temple mm -hmm. that's why i do not go with those timelines remember in the, the in the you just gave right. that's only for matthew and mark for john, no, for the, john the, as well the reason cited for John because it, are extensive, no, way beyond the scope John, of just no, that. John, yes, no, they are. John, it doesn't listen. John is no, they're not. Like you're just giving the trust you know me, bro. This isn't true. I'll tell you what. You can't just you point out people. The fact that John scholarship is, does not peg right. the later dating of John entirely on its saying, talking about the destruction of the yeah, temple. but it's based Come on, on it's based on the first on. gospel. If Mark was 70 AD, then in subsequent. If John is later, it can't be any earlier than. They say that John yeah, lived until about hundred and something. That's why he wrote. Essentially, if say. John is later, yeah, John to is going to have to write about the destruction. Is dated to seventy A.D. You cannot place John any earlier. So okay. if Mark, if the no timeline shifts forward, you. Okay. then I get it the now. timeline of John okay. can shift forward. Okay. So what you're telling me is this: all of them were written before the destruction of the temple. That's what yeah. you're saying. Okay. And all of them are writing at the exact same time. Hey guys, uh, I'm, I'm going to omit the incarnation. Have you got that, Matthew? Luke, you got that as well, yeah? Okay. I'm also going to omit when I saw the risen Christ. Okay. Oh, John, you can do that one, yeah? Fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Come on, paper but boy. The, but yeah, but I mean, on, paper for, paper for information, but argument like that doesn't help. Each of the gospels is written in, to a different audience. For example, Matthew was written to, to the, the Jews. Jews. Yes. So um, John was written to the Christians, and it's about the risen, the resurrection. So Matthew, for example, talks about the fulfillment of the the, the Messiah. Uh oh. Fulfillment of prophecy. Yeah. Yes. Uh oh, we're going there. So, yeah, if so you want, have, you have there, the of, So they all. I was saving it. I was message. saving it, but okay. Yeah, but they all relay different messages. Everyone better, right? knows that. They all relay different so, messages. So, 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 so this is why. So, no, but this is why. This is why he says. He says Allah gives. He says Allah gives him intelligence. He gives. He says Allah gives him intelligence. But that's why I want to relay that same logic to the Quran because the conversation. He, because he, according to his logic. Like, um, according to Obi's, according to according to his logic, Mark was the first uh, gospel, so it should pro proclaim what happened to Christ. This is why I say the Quran was the first witness about what happened to Muhammad, but then it, but then it misses things. all of these things about the story of the cave, a lot of details that he has to go to the Hadith and it's essentially later on. And so his logic says the what is missing. What, what did the, the story of the cave? Allah, what happened in the cave? Allah know what happened Muhammad. in the cave. What is the, what is the first verse of the Quran? Surah Fatiha. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We don't have any uh, description of what happened with the, in the cave in oh, the Quran. So it says Ikra, reading the name of Allah. Yes. But there's no detail that it talks about Allah, um, Jibril being the one that visited Muhammad. And, it's a, and, and that's the and all knowing witness. The all knowing witness, Allah Himself. Really? No. Yes, it is important. Oh, that's why we yes, have it is. Allah. How do you know it's not saying? Right, but, but what, is the, what, is the, what, what is the first witness to Islam? What's the, Sorry? What is the first it's witness to Islam? It's the first witness and yeah. God. As in, no, the, uh, in the terms of... The first witness is the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it's the Quran, yeah, it's the Quran right? It's what, sorry? The Quran. The, the first Quran is Kalam Allah, it's the speech of Allah. Yeah, so it's the first witness. It's the speech, it's Allah's speech. Yes, so he's the first one to testify of Allah. So he's the first witness. It's the first testimony. No, the prophet was given. I don't know the hadith came later. Essentially, yes. Oh, is that what you're trying to say? Oh, I see. That's how God knows himself. That's how the Trinity makes sense. We don't believe hadith came later. Does Allah know himself? Because for Allah to know himself, there has to be something else that Allah knows that is himself. And giving stories. That's why the Trinity makes sense. If Allah is singular, he does not know himself. They're completely. 
connected together. So, so what is the first extent? That's how knowledge I'm works. Think, I'm really Evidence trying to we think have of the heavy in terms of written. Story. Written. So you want written. So are you, are you asking person, for manuscripts? And I know myself. Yeah, okay, I'll give you manuscripts. So if you go to islamicawareness.com, right? You know that. You know that. I have a few minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. No one else knows. I know myself. We found Imam Malik's wata in Spain. And it was if dated to his time. Else, if, I know time was that? if I know my wisdom, his, his, I know his contemporary life. <laughs> How is yeah, but I'm saying what, 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 what? Oh, so what? now you're asking when was Imam Malik around? Yeah. Hey, hey, okay. If Imam Malik right. is the Imam that comes well, after Abu Hanifa. Okay. He is within no the century Nobody of Prophet Sasa. So, so what is the manuscript that is dated to? And is in his Muwatta is the story of the Muwatta is the story of the cave within that? No, it's not a whole codex. Right, so it's, it's so like I'm, how you have you know parchments right. of your New Testament. So, we have parchments as well. Right. You're asking so, for the earliest. In time description, right. that's what so, it is. So, so, so how could we trust that these? Oh. How can we trust? Hey, go get the red heifers ready. Antichrist. How can we trust that? Get the, get the red heifer ready. How can Jesus? Go get the red heifer ready. We got the blood of Jesus. That's a straw man. How can we trust? That's a straw man. He believes the red heifer. He believes the red heifer. There's no more red heifer needed. He believes that. That's a straw man. He's a Christian brother. He's risen from the grave. But he believes. Let's, let's go back to the witness. So, because engaging in Esau doesn't Because I'm just relaying your argument back. So, for us, we're saying it would seem odd. No, he laid down his life for us. How long comes he done enough? The only way we can be saved. How long comes he done enough? I'd like to continue our problem. Brother, brother, listen. What's your name? What's your name? Lewis. Lewis. I would like to continue our conversation. Because he enters the reason why every third part of the night. Every three years. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So, so, so wait, so, 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 so wait, so I'm Obi, sorry you feel that. So, so are you saying that you don't believe I've seen you from the box? The same way you know my boss, my name. So have you, are you saying the crucifixion didn't happen? Because let's, it's the Sunday, let's talk about actually the crucifixion. That's Good Friday, hey. That's on Good Friday, but it's Sunday. No, but I'm asking you, do you believe the crucifixion happened? Because you're saying, why did Peter write about the crucifixion or the resurrection, I should say? So I'm asking you, do you believe that the crucifixion happened? I believe many crucifixions happened. <laughs> but thousands, you, I mean, thousands of people. Do you believe that Jesus was crucified? Jesus? Yes. I believe that your New Testament says Jesus was crucified, yes. Right, so what does your Quran say? My Quran says he was saved. It's what what does it what say? Chapter? Let's let's um Please, let's pull it let's, up. Yeah, let's, let's pull bring it up. up what it says. It, 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 in, verse one. In it did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. It was meant to appear right. to him. So why does it mention does the crucifixion? Yeah. So what appeared to them as mm. crucifixion? The New Testament made it appear so. No, no, no. What, so, so Allah lied. The, wait, new, wait. the New Testament made so it appear so. What are you saying, Allah? So, so, the new so, I said Allah. I said the New Testament so, made it appear so. Because so, you're so, the one so who talked about Allah has, As Allah has given you... As Allah has given you... As Allah has given you logic, Yes, is right. the gospel the only confirmation of the crucifixion? Um, historically, is it the only confirmation. No, I believe you have historians as well that you say. So we have about. historians. So right. Josephus, you might mention Tacitus. Okay. Uh, you might mention Titus as well. Right. Yeah. Okay. So now, as you have, you, you, and I'm going by your words, Allah's given you logic. Alhamdulillah. Is it possible? What happened on the day that people witnessed what they? believed was a crucifixion well according that to a lot of the gospels mm. they didn't actually witness it right there and then mm -hmm. they witnessed it at a distance okay. the only one that says that he was at the foot of the of the crucifixion is mm. in the gospel of john your latest gospel, okay and there's a reason for that wait let me just interject no no no, no because yet. Wait, because jesus boy, no man. but let me just interject before that part because jesus was for, told to carry the cross yeah, he so was, people, according to the, the gospel. Yeah, right, so I'm just saying, because if your premise uh, rests on just who was at the cross, I'm saying as well, what happened? who did people see who was carrying the cross? Because that was for the public consumption. So I just want you to factor that I into got, your got you. okay, so response. He's in front of Pontius Pilate. The people are there. The Jews are screaming, crucify him. No problem whatsoever. Right. When it comes to what happened, mm. I don't know I wasn't there. Okay. I don't know I wasn't there exactly. Right. I don't know if so that person was someone who they falsely accused of being Jesus. Because remember, apparently, right. no one even knew what Jesus looked like. It took Judas going, betraying Jesus, and then him being crucified. People didn't know what he looked like, which is strange because he's showing himself to thousands of people. But anyway, I digress. When it comes to the situation of what happened <laughs> in that way, what happened in that way, I don't know I wasn't there. 
God allows right. the miracles to happen. Ah. God allows the miracles to happen. Of what course. was the miracle? The miracle could have been that right. maybe that. And again, I'm going by if the New Testament is veracious, and that's a big. That's if. why I bring all in historians yeah, as yeah. well. That's why I asked no you. What do historians say? Historians such as Tacitus. What does Tacitus say? Mentioned Christus was uh, given was uh, died the most worst punishable death by Good. crucifixion. Well done. Right. Where's Pontius Pilate and the rest? What do you mean where's Pontius Pilate? Does Tacitus mention Pontius Pilate and the rest? No, he doesn't need to. He doesn't need to, but you just you just made me go there to try and defend a position of your New Testament. But why? But something outside the New Testament can't attest for. But why is he mentioning Pontius Pilate? So that's why I'm asking you. What, Who's what? mentioning? Uh, Tacitus. Um, you just said he doesn't mention it. No, I'm saying why do you why feel he New needs Testament? to? No, I'm saying because if, if Tacitus because, mentions the good, crucifixion, good. I see what, you're saying. what is the relevance of you. Pontius Pilate? Because you took me back there. Right. When I said the only gospel that tells us about someone actually being at the crucifixion, it's John. And that's in John. And there's a reason for that because it's a late gospel. And the later we go in the Gospels, the more we can see that these writers are doing their best to convince people of two things. Mm -hmm. The crucifixion mm -hmm. and the resurrection. Hence the story of the holes in the hands stop, for Doubting Thomas. Stop using but what's Bart that to do? arguments. It's not what, helping. What, what, it's what? not just Bart Ehrman, but Carson as well. Yeah, it's not helping. Yeah, it's not just Bart Ehrman. Yeah, but that's how is that disputed what the historians have said? Because you just because you tried to take me back. You said, well, okay, but he also carried his cross. Right. And he was also in front of Pontius Pilate. Okay. Where does it say those two events in, in, in Tacitus? So if I'm saying if it doesn't, what relevance does it hold? If it doesn't, then it still holds this idea that nobody actually physically saw him get crucified. Nobody saw him other than the Romans who would have been present. So what would it, why would it, so if- Peter if, wasn't there. If they mentioned Pontius, but I'm just trying to understand yeah, your course, yeah, argument. Yeah. What relevance does that have if he did mention it? If he did mention what? If he did, if that's to then, then you can try and use the historical argument a bit further. Even then, I wouldn't take everything Tacitus says seriously. No, what I take Josephus. No, what I take Titus. We know them manuscripts come like centuries later. Centuries. But I asked you the same thing about the hadith. But, and but our hadith didn't come that far later. I, I'm saying, but no this, is what, this is why I'm saying let's test the logic no because problem. to highlight the inconsistencies. Hadith, the, hadith is not that far removed. That's okay. my argument. All right. It's not so, that far removed. So again, present your argument because I'm just trying to understand. No problem. If Tacitus and um, all these people, Josephus, mention a crucifixion, you're saying we can't trust them because they didn't mention Pontius Pilate. No, I didn't say that. So what are you I trying say to say? I'm saying you don't have any eyewitness account of Jesus being crucified. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Right. The only time you do, oh, sorry, right. sorry. The only time you do right. is when John, he's at the foot of the crucifixion. Mm -hmm. And he's seeing I'll everything. And for right some now, reason, the Romans have allowed him to come right up to it. Right. So the women are at a distance. But, but that's why I asked you as well, who was carrying the cross? Who was what? Carrying the cross. Good. And that's why I said to you, who attests for the carrying of the cross other than the New Testament authors? The New why, Testament is a Why would anyone else itself. need to... It's not. Uh, yes, it uh, is. Why would anyone else need to attest? Because the New Testament yeah. is a witness in itself. Yeah, right? it's an historical but, document. But because now, you're, but he's appealing again. to scholars who would yeah. use the same New Testament yeah. to say that their witness can be uh, credited with the confirmation of a crucifixion. None or, of the writers of the New Testament mm. are witnesses, even according to the, the, the narrative of the New Testament itself. None of them, except for John, your latest gospel. Mm -hmm. The rest are not there. It's the women, it's the women, it's the women, and they're all looking at it from a distance. We love it for the women. We love it. So, no, of course we do. Of course we do. Right. So I, I, I'm still getting a bit lost in your answer, but that, yeah. that's fine. I'm sorry. How can you okay. prove that it's Let's, not hearsay? <laughs> how can we? He's, he's, not, he's, he's not tracking. He's not tracking. Okay. That's fine. That's no problem. Right. We're clashing. We're clashing. Right. Let's go to something else. Okay. I know you like Old Testament. All right. Can well. you prove to me mm. that the death and resurrection of Christ mm. is mentioned in the Old Testament as, as Paul mentions? Paul says very clearly, he says the scriptures is, is he, he died on the third day. Sorry, he died mm. according to the scriptures and he came back to life three days later according to the scriptures. Can you show me in these scriptures where Jesus is prophesied to come down to earth in human flesh? die for the sins of humanity and resurrect three days later. Show me where the Messiah is Are you supposed looking for a forbidden, forbidden word fallacy or you want to actually engage in the, in the um, prophecy? Have you got the evidence? Are you looking for a forbidden? Because if I pull up the evidence and then you, you now change your mind. I'm looking for the evidence. Are you looking for a forbidden word fallacy? Let's look at, 
Let's examine what you're asking for. Are you looking for a forbidden word fallacy? Any evidence you have? Any yeah, evidence. Evidence. Any evidence. Any yeah, evidence. Any evidence. Alright, cool. Let's go to Isaiah 53. Let's oh, go to Isaiah 53. in 20 minutes. Yeah. Go on, go on. Let's go to Isaiah 53. Mm. 53, yeah? Okay. Do you agree with this, 53? Well, that mentions uh, death and resurrection. It doesn't so, say okay, three do you, So would you go to... If you were the one to yeah, find the evidence, would you go here? In terms of the death and resurrection, you're asking for a specific of three days. Okay, is right. this is this what? So that's what, why I ask you: Are you looking for forbidden fallacy? I don't need verbatim. Okay. I don't need verbatim. Oh, is that what you were yeah. looking for? Sorry. Okay. I know let, you're let, for let's, that answer. Sorry. Yeah, let's look at the verse um, that you're in question. Do you, do you have it? Do you get it up? Can you bring up the verse in question What's that you're verse? saying about Paul? Oh, do you not believe it's that? Yeah, I just want to look at what it says. For the context, yeah. we don't want to yeah, for the discussion. The context, I mean, does that need context? Well, if you look at Isaiah 53, yeah, um, I'm, I'm quite dyslexic. Will someone else mind to read? No. Uh, it's paper I'll, 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 yeah, let him just get the verse oh, first. Yeah, okay, okay. first, first, first. Um, let's see. Uh, Okay, so let's see. Ah, here we go. So this is 1 Corinthians 15, as I'm sure you knew that. And that he was buried. Oh no, we want, we want, we want the whole thing. Here we go. Yeah, let's go back to 15:3. Okay. Uh, for what I received, mm -hmm. I passed on to you. So this is obviously Paul talking to the Corinthians, right? He's saying, for what I have received, so what I have been told about, or, or got, sorry, he got revelation directly from Christ because he's the best, he writes, he's the best, right? <laughs> for what oh, I received, man, funny, man. I passed on to you <laughs> as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, mm -hmm. yeah. that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day, according to the scriptures so there's two there's two things we need to verify here we need to understand what is paul talking about what on earth is this man talking about would you i must have missed something i am very i scoured i scoured this old testament mm -hmm. and i've never found anything quite like that maybe you could i'm i'm, I'm a bit dyslexic I, as well I, to be honest. I'm, okay yeah. so would someone I, i'm also a bit dyslexic my reading is embarrassing. Um, dyslexic, well, let's go. We'll go for Isaiah 53. We'll is see that where you want to go? Of the death Do you agree? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We we'll see the prophecy of his death and resurrection. Do you want to read? I do not want to read because my, read? Reading, my reading would not would not be comprehensible. Do you want me to hold this in? No, no, okay. it's fine. A, I mean, you can essentially start from like from here. Is this picking me up, by the way? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Yeah. Uh, what from is here, because over there it says it laid him down. Is this you? Revelation 22, 13. Oh, yeah, is that you? No, 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 that's, that's um, Fred. He's around. I don't like how he titles my videos. No, yeah, he puts Obi and then he says... No, he says Obi the Pagan, that's what he says. <laughs> no, he doesn't, man. Come on, once man. Once he did, he did once. He did okay, once, okay. he did once. Okay. So, right, I would so say from, from, from here, because over here it says he laid him down. Yeah, so uh, let's start from four. Uh, yet, yet it was our weakness he carried, it was our sorrows that weighed him down, and we thought his troubles were a punishment from God, a punishment for his own sins, but he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. All of us, like sheep, have strayed away, and we have left God's path to our own. Yet the Lord laid on him the sins of all of us. He was oppressed and treated harshly, yet he never said a word. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and he's and as a sheep is silent before the shearers, mm. he did not open his mouth and justly condemned, he was led away. No one cared that he died without descendants, that his life was cut short in midstream, mm -hmm. but he was struck down for the rebellion of my people. He had done no wrong and he had never deceived anyone, but he was buried like a criminal. He was put in a rich man's grave, but it was the Lord's good plan to crush him and cause him grief. Yet when his life was made an offering for sin, he will have many descendants and he may Amen. have a long life. So, so we can verify he said he died and then right. he says he will, um, this same person that died will right. have many descendants. Now, so that's and, a proof of and the in, death in and the resurrection. Is he married? In terms of, in terms huh? of the... Is he married? In terms of the, the death... Descendants is, is in the, In terms of the death and the can resurrection... Can you show me where else in the Old Testament is in, spiritual? In, in, the, in the ten, terms of the um, death and resurrection of the Messiah, we know, for example, the Qumran community also had this belief, which was before the Christians, that there was a... that, that you can look in the... Um, the what do you call them? The uh, Dead Sea Scrolls 
there was references to a messiah or a messi messi messianic type figure who would be, who would die. And even Jews, for example, they believe who that. Who would die? Yeah. Okay, but not come back from the dead. Yeah, let's let's let me get the reference. Yeah, get because the reference, even Jews, get the reference. Jewish people believe. The Jews didn't believe that. Because no Jew believed that in the first century. Are Other you than sure? your Christians, of course. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. And please don't go to Philo. Even Philo won't help you here, to be honest. No, because we go to the Dead Sea Scrolls. I have yeah, to find it. Yeah, let's go to the Dead Sea Scrolls. Go to the Dead Sea Scrolls. Uh, do you mind if I do a bit of research as well? Just yeah, to that's verify fine. what you're saying. Uh, Yeah, you'll see they believed in a a a, a, divide, a, a dying messiah or a heavenly type figure. Um, let me. So, uh, among these texts, right. there are references to messianic expectations, yep. which include beliefs in different types of messiahs, right. such as a priestly messiah yep. and a royal messiah. Okay. However, the concept of a messiah who would die and then be resurrected is not explicitly detailed ah, okay. in the Dead Sea Scrolls, so it, it, in the same way it is conceptualized in Christian theology okay. about right. Jesus. So, what, go on, what does it say? Uh, some scholars point to passages that might hint at a suffering messiah figure right. such as the pierced messiah right but interpretations vary uh -huh. and the text does not explicitly mention death and resurrection right the pierced messiah fragment is part of a larger work known as the messianic apocalypse which describes miraculous events associated with messiah's arrival but again does not explicitly outline uh -huh. a narrative of death and right. resurrection um, right. The closest parallel to the concept of resurrection in the Qumran text might be found in the sect's beliefs about the afterlife and eschatological expectations rather than a specific messianic figure right. undergoing death and resurrection. So, so what they're saying, if you read more, there's illusions. So, we all know, but here's the thing. By the way, I disagree with what they're saying about the pierced messiah. Right. I don't believe, I, I believe they're referring to Psalm 22. Right. And it doesn't say pierced. Okay. It says, like a lion, they're at my hands and feet. Yeah, but the problem is, in context of the language. It, it would make sense it, actually for it to be lion, not pierced. No, it pierced. doesn't. It doesn't. It, read, so, re, let's read the, shall we read the Psalm now? Shall we read Psalm 22? You see lions. You see bulls. You see dogs. You see, you see animal imagery. All, all I would say no is, is, is just watch the debate with Michael Brown, with um, what's his name, um, Zakir Hussein. They Zakir? bring Zakir Hussein. Zakir is a Muslim. Why would I watch that? Huh? He's a Muslim. Exactly. They debated some yeah, of these Yeah, but Zakir's passages. not not a My, scholar. In, yeah, but in, Michael, in Hebrew but Michael J. Brown. Is. is right exactly exactly and so, he's the one and he's a christian as well yeah but he's so a he's scholar. biased no no that's poison he's in biased. the well that's poison in the well that's it's not it's not it, of course it is because, because he's a scholar in uh semitic uh, i can't remember his exact uh um, phd or whatever yeah but language is in corpus in some of his speciality right so they just but it doesn't say pierced it, Even if Michael Brown thinks it says that, it doesn't say that. Yeah, it's like me what's saying... What's the Hebrew word? Wait, wait, what's the Hebrew word I can't remember the top of my I head. know it. Okay, I yeah, know but it. that's like, for example, if I say I kill uh, a, a bird with two stones, right. that doesn't literally mean I'm going to kill a bird with two stones. It has a metaphorical meaning. So in the context, because that... Uh, so that, you're that, saying that, even if it says lion, it yes. doesn't matter. It's still talking about because, the same sort of thing. Because it would be like me saying, uh, if you put the word lion in literally it then removes any uh, meaning for the whole verse no it doesn't yes it does like a lion they're at my hands and my feet ka'ari ka'ari like a lion they're at my hands and my feet and it makes sense he's talking about his enemies surrounding him the, the whole imagery is all animals like lions like raging bulls like I say Michael, fine, fine. Michael, Dr. Michael Brown has fine. much work on this. No you problem. can read. You him. can read up on yourself. Yeah, read up on yourself. Dr. Dr. Michael Brown. Okay. okay. So Isaiah 53. You want to go back, or you want to leave Psalm 22 for out for now? Well, I was just make, making a go point ahead, about the Qumran community. Oh, so sorry, the, the fact that there were allusions to it, and with any religious text, we know even as a Muslim yourself, 
What's going on here? I don't know. Oh, even, oh hang on. Stop, stop. Oh. Oh dear, right. Even as a Muslim yourself, yeah. you will know that you have... Oh, we missed something. You, you have, boy, man. But you know... All right, I'm sorry. You, you have scholars in terms of how do you interpret the text. Yes. So, in terms of if there were illusions, that Where means that... Where did the guy that, who was next to me go? I don't did know. He go, did he go towards that? Man, we've been in this conversation. We missed a whole war breaking up. Okay, sorry, keep going. No problem. We can wrap up in a second No, 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 anyway. forget that. We're doing well. Keep going. Yeah. Just give so, the people what they want. So, I'm saying to you, in terms of how do we interpret the text, because if you're saying that there was no understanding of this diamond Messiah, as you've read the text, they will say there, there wasn't anything explicit, right. but they hint even in what you read, there are allusions. Yeah. So then it comes down to how do we interpret the text? Because even any, even as a Muslim, you would believe that the, the learned people, the scholars, would have a better understanding and interpretation of the text. And well, there we can never be, blind follow and, and, and yeah, but there are, can sometimes be different interpretations on the meaning of a word. So you go but by as, the consensus, right? I'm just saying what we would say. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. no problem. However, we don't have that consensus I know you don't. I know. historically. I know. So, but we know that the Christians, even in the first century, when they were debating with the Jews, were looking at picking out certain texts to argue that this, especially from the Septuagint, that this uh, is proof of the prophecies of the Messiah. But that's the problem, people, with the Septuagint can't be relied upon. Why not? Because it's in Greek. So? It's not the Hebrew. It doesn't the, matter. But listen, listen, t let me land, right? Right. The Tanakh is a Hebrew text. Okay. Right? If you don't speak Hebrew, if right. you can't read Hebrew, if right. you're not conversant in Tanakh language, right. then you've never read Tanakh. So, so, so who it's was the same the, as Arabic? Who, who was the exact same yeah, thing? Yeah, but who was the Septuagint translated by? According to the legend, <laughs> it's a legend, right? It was the first five books of Moses by 70 Jewish okay, elders or something right. like that in Alexandria. And the, only the first and, five and, books. And according to scholarship, did Jews use the uh, Septuagint? Maybe the, maybe the Hellenized Jews. Right. But not, 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 the, not the temple, not the temple Jews. Right. The mainstream Jews would have never, so, no. So a lot of Jews were Hellenized, especially as we get later to the And this first explains century. why they would fall into such a heresy as what we see in the New Testament. No, not necessarily, because... But do you see my point? Do you see what I'm saying to you? You're making the same argument that Muslims would make well, in of terms course, of... Jews are making you, the exact same one. <laughs> yeah, but, but this is the problem, because yeah. what we're trying to highlight... Are is we that, lying like the Jews? Are we all liars then? Obviously, the Jews have distorted it, because... Oh. The, the Jews reject Jesus as the Messiah. Even yourself, and this is the, the problem, that I don't understand why, for example, Muslims would go to the, to, the, to the Jews' interpretation because the Jews' interpretation insists that Jesus isn't the Messiah. Yeah. So therefore, if you want to believe the Jews, then you need to get rid of the Quran because the Quran is... Yes, because I, I'll tell you why. We can choose, obviously, I, if we want. I will know? tell you why. <laughs> because... The, you use your brain. You the, said Allah gave me logic. Yes. I can take the good from them and leave the bad. But this is the, their arguments are more yeah, compelling this, than the Christian arguments. Of course they're not. Because I'll tell you why. Because you would have the Christians had to believe in Jesus for a particular reason. And if we let's just roll this back. Right. You're not. You're a smart guy. I don't and, know about that. I, you just said you've got Allah bless you with logic. So you're yeah, but, uh, all of us. All of us. Maybe all some more than others. Right. You know, and would you say you, are, you, you have more than others? I have basic elements oh, okay. of logic. All right. Like, so, like yourself and everyone else. So if you don't have logic, then I can educate you. No problem. Right. I'm here to be so, educated.